My father was Shadrach Griffin, and my grandfather was James Griffin, the Revolutionary War soldier. I was born up in Irwin County, but shortly after my birth, my family all moved down to Lyons County. <coughs> and somewhere around uh, between Troopville and uh, Mineola. And lived there, and uh, most of the rest of my early adult life, met my wife there, Nancy Below, and uh, we have two children. Uh, we have William Jr. and Henrietta. <laughs> and we got married in uh, 1845, and about uh, four years later, Lowndes uh, <coughs> County, I was uh, appointed sheriff there in Lowndes County. And I served there for two years until uh, 1851. In 1851, my uh, cousin, Noah Griffin, he was running the uh, uh, grist mill and the cotton gin up at Flat Creek. And I thought it'd be a better idea, instead of running around catching desperados, just to go up there and run a grist mill. So I made a deal with him and I bought him out up there. And so I ran the grist mill and the cotton gin up there in 1851. <coughs> when I first moved up there, I decided the folks needed a general store. So I had a general store built up there. And about five years later, in 1856, if you'll believe it, there were some very influential people that decided that they were going to have a meeting up there to form a new county and it was going to be Berrien County. And all of the officers and everything was all appointed right up there, and that county was formed right in my general store. Well, I guess it was because they had to use my store, I got appointed postmaster too. <coughs> well, there is some discussion about between myself and my family and my cousin Noah, who I bought the uh, the uh, gin from was that Noah's family thinks he was the first postmaster of Flat Creek. And my family thinks I was the first postmaster of Flat Creek. Well, I don't like to get into those family feuds or anything. So when people ask me about it, I said, well, one of us was the po first postmaster of Flat Creek, and that seemed to satisfy everybody. Well, in 1859, it Flat Creek Post Office was no more. They decided to close it down, and all of the postal services were down up here in that down here in Nashville. And I was appointed the fourth postmaster of the Nashville Post Office. Well, I, in '59, the cost of uh, mailing a, uh, a letter was uh, three cents, uh, U.S. postage. Of course, after the war started. Uh, Confederate postage went from three cents up to ten cents, so it cost ten cents. Now that sounds like a pretty cheap, pretty cheap letter. However, when you figure it on the what y'all are paying for postage now, it equals to about uh, two dollars and fifty cents to mail a, a letter during the Confederate War, and then it would have cost us about uh, about a buck and a quarter if it would have been back before when it was uh, three cents for the U.S. postage. So you can see kind of what postage has gone to. Well, in 1864, I decided I was going to run for the office of county treasurer, and I was elected. And I must not have done a too bad job because I was county treasurer from that point <coughs> clear until 1892 at the time of my death, and I died in office as county treasurer. Now, there was just a two-year span when John Futch ran against me, and the folks around here thought, well, maybe John Futch would do a better job. Well, they, they had their luck at it and found out that, they'd, you know, that old dumps was a little better one, I guess, because I got back in office after a two-year term with Mr. John. So everything worked out all right for, that, for me as far as I was concerned. Then in 1866, uh, I, they decided that they didn't want to uh, have me work in two jobs, both a postmaster and a county treasurer, so I stepped down for a period. 
well, been about 18, uh, let's see, I guess it would have been about 1874. Once again, they decided they couldn't do without me. So they decided to put me in back in as postmaster again, and I was still serving as county treasurer. Well, all of that work I was doing all here in Nashville, and I was still living out at Flat Creek. So then I decided, well, let's move the whole family down into Nashville, and then I don't have to go so far to work. So sure enough, I moved down here to Nashville, and you know, Nashville has changed a lot over those years. When I came down here, there was no, it was hardly even 200 people in the whole community in Nashville. There wasn't a brick building in Nashville. All there was was wood structures. <laughs> well, it wasn't until 1898, six years after I was gone, before they even had the first brick building, which was the old courthouse, which you call the old courthouse now. It was new to us at the time, or new to the folks that were here at the time. Well. I went ahead and served then until 1880 as postmaster. In 1880, I decided I just probably had enough of uh, chasing around lost letters and gave up the postmaster job. I stayed on as a, as a county tax collector, tax, uh, or excuse me, the county treasurer until 1892, like I said before, when I had a bad ticker and it just got the best of me and I gave up the spirit. So here I am, I love Nashville, I love being a postmaster, and it was a great joy for me to meet y'all tonight, and I hope you'll enjoy yourself at the other folks that are here to tell you a little bit about their life story, and uh, bless you, would you, who will pass that on to me to the next uh, postmaster, somebody will do that, all right, thank you for your time.